So here the next part of the discussion is that is effect of effect of pressure effect of pressure on changes of changes of states in matter changes of states in matter so here what is happening is like uh, in other words when you go for effect of pressure if you use the term pressure if we are using the term pressure this pressure can be applied for uh, both solids and uh, liquids and gases in fact so if you take solids actually if you take solids yes when you are applying the pressure you can take force per unit area mathematically you can simply use the formula force per unit area that is f stands for force f, f stands for force applied on the surface force applied on this surface solid surface and a is the unit cross sectional unit cross sectional area suppose if you are taking this is a solid surface and uh, here if you are trying to place a nail so that means this is the point at which here you are trying to apply the force and this is the surface area surface area and this is the plank it is a solid plank this is a solid plank so this is how we generally use for uh, solids but uh, if you go for uh, liquids and gases yes uh, particularly if, if you take in terms of gases that is application of pressure pressure effect let me put it in this way pressure effect on gases if we say something about pressure effect on gases here gases have a property if you go for gases they have the property of compressibility they are compressible and uh, they assume the uh, i mean shape of the container you know very well shape of container and also in gases the molecules the molecules have large intermolecular spaces large intermolecular spaces so i mean to say if you take uh, pressure actually suppose if you are taking you take a container a long cylindrical container you take and in this cylindrical container you try to fill you take a piston slidable piston you take this is the piston and uh, here you try to uh, fill some amount of gas the gas is filled inside so this is a gas which is filled inside so this gas initially let us suppose that initial volume is say capital v and here this is a piston and here you are trying to apply some amount of pressure you are trying to apply the pressure p stands for pressure that means by when you are increasing the pressure when when you are trying to take sufficient amount of quantity of gas in a closed container using a piston this when you are applying the pressure the this piston will try to move in the downward direction because of the increase in pressure you find that the piston moves little bit inside into the container like this and you find that here now the new volume occupied by the gas after compression that means the gas is getting compressed here when the gas is getting compressed now you get a new volume which is small v from this observation it's very clear that from this observation it's very clear that the new volume is lesser volume than that of the initial volume if the initial volume is say 100 liters of gas is already there now the small v is say that is uh, 30 the small v is 30 liters 30 liters of gas small v so the compressed gas so i can say compressed compressed gas is equal to capital v minus small v which is equal to 100 liters minus 30 liters which is equal to 70 liters that means it is very clear that 
when when the pressure is increasing from this observation we can note that when pressure increases when pressure is increasing when pressure increases the volume of gas volume of gas decreases the volume of gas decreases when pressure increases the volume of gas decreases so from this we can also notify that pressure is inversely proportional to volume so that means by increase of pressure you are finding that there, there is a decrease in volume and uh, wherever there is increase in pressure so when when there is when the pressure effect is taking place on the gases also temperature also simultaneously acts on this gas so if this gas is simultaneously being operated with pressure and temperature you find that if the pressure is increasing upward arrow stands for increase of pressure and downward arrow stands for decrease of pressure when there is an increase in pressure on the gas then you find that there is decrease in temperature by increase of pressure and decrease of temperature you find that we can liquefy the gases liquefy the gases we, the gases can be liquefied by increasing of pressure and decreasing of temperature when you are decreasing the temperature and increasing the pressure all the molecules of gases they come very closer when they come very closer they try to have more amount of uh, binding attractive forces between them and as a result you, you they attain the fixed positions once they are once they are attaining the fixed positions you find that there is gradually there is a change in the state of the molecules of gases to the liquids indirectly you are trying to once you are once you are converting the gas to a liquid once you are converting the gas directly to a liquefiable gas it also means that you are trying to give a cooling effect indirectly you are subjecting it to cooling effect cooling effect is nothing but condensation one simple experiment what we can do one more experiment what we can do is we just uh, fill some amount of uh, that is o2 gas initially <coughs> take take the o2 gas at room temperature at room temperature now we can see that now we can see that this gas if you are subjecting it to increased pressure you increase the pressure you try to increase the pressure pressure is increased downward arrow represents that you are putting the stress pressure in the form of stress that means you are increasing the pressure due to increase in the pressure the temperature decreases you also find that here the temperature decreases the pressure in the form of stress means increased pressure and temperature there is a decrease temperature decrease then you find that there is a bubbling action taking place these o2 molecules they just give all kind of bubbles like this and you can also find that the gas the oxygen gas now it becomes a liquid and once it becomes liquid it turns to pale blue color pale blue color so this means that the oxygen gas has been compressed the oxygen gas has been compressed compressed in such a way that by increasing the pressure and decreasing the temperature all the gas molecules now they are in the liquid state once the, once it is in the liquid state this oxygen gas right now in the liquefied oxygen gas it turns co from colorless position to the pale blue color so it is very clear from this experiment that there is a change in the physical state from the gaseous state to the liquid state once it is subjected to liquefaction that is it is giving cooling effect when cooling effect is taking place you find that there is also change in the color of the oxygen gas so all gases can be can be subjected to cooling effect that is can be brought to the liquid state by the condition of condensation or cooling effect by increase in pressure and decrease in temperature if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus